Welcome to Hearts of Iron 4. I'm Ace Aid, and I'll have you look through the random random countries list up here. Here for the Road to 56 mod, I notice that we can play as Liechtenstein. I have no idea what this is going to involve, so I'm just going to get into it. So, January 1936, this is Liechtenstein. I mean, Deep snow, mountains, blizzards. Oh uh, yeah, and I do have a mod installed that scales comparison requirements with the actual the actual population size. Like, I think I think the mod in question says something like Pacific Island with only a few thousand people shouldn't require as much as a Chinese province that has fifty three million people. Uh, just a small aside there. So let's have a look at what we have here. Our head of state is our head of, head of government, Yosef Hoop, is a tenacious negotiator, so we gain extra power grain from him. Charismatic monarch Franz I gives us plus 5% stability. Nice. Yeah. The unpopularity of fighting the Austro Prussian War. Eventually led to the army's disbandment in 1868, and the country has maintained no army since. And the Rotter Curse. So we have daily support for fascism and less stability. What can we do? Disarm nation, can't do cash, export focus, toaster economy, can't really change that either. Fiscal advisor, who could we get? Well, can't get him because he's already the current leader. Spurs, of course. There's a lot of things that are pretty much the same. Ooh, uh, editor gives us power gain and stability. Hmm. There, just sort of concern. Thing unusual here. These guys don't cost a lot, though. Probably have to go with this guy first because we have almost no army command power. Who is this? Boris Milosky, a Russian Tsarist and former Imperial Russian Army commander who settled here after the fall of the White Russian Army in 1923. Hmm. And to get this one, Army Logistics Specialist, we need to have completed the Russian Red Cross. The Liechtenstein Red Cross. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to get one of these achievements uh, for a very long time. Chief of Air Force, yeah, probably this guy. Let's see what we can do for our national focuses. Right, so... You go fascist, which I'm not sure how much of a difference we'd make there. This, on the other hand, is a dorm, establish a regency council, so we can go monarchist, form the military budget, actually get, gain a factory. I need to go defensive or or offensive. The Rhine gunboat, which is um mutually incompatible with the Liechtensteiner Naval Academy. Like, oh god, hey, this is weird. From civilian factories. Research bonuses, Air Force, yeah, this is pretty much the generic focus tree from Road 6. These look kind of interesting, if a bit weird. In the way of, um, explanation. Hmm. 
hmm, this might provoke the Swiss Confederation to intervene in us. Yeah, I'll leave that away. This is just a really, really weird, weird focus tree. I haven't seen it, really looked at this. Realign the Habsburgs. Hmm, requires Austria to still exist. Yeah, I, I pretty much just chose this on a bit of a lark, but this looks interesting. You know what? I think I know what I'm going to do. Try and support the Allies overtly as this tiny little little micronation here in, here in the Alps that doesn't even have an army and has only two research slots. So, let's get on with it. Naturally, what we're going to do Electronic mechanical engineering, sure, why not? Not even build that. Nothing useful here. May as well just go with machine tools. Then, after this gathering storm, princely cabinet of. What is it? Of national defense. Speed things up a bit. And yeah, don't, don't care about the event rotation timeout. That's the game rule notice. Yeah, we currently can't build anything because we've only one factory and we need to use it to provide toasters and stuff for our economy. Total band power 52. Maybe a platoon. One and a half platoons. We're not doing much. Oh, just notice this here. If we go down the moniker's path, if we'd gone down the moniker's path right now and chosen empower Russian exiles. We could then continue the fight to gain weekly manpower, 250. Just a lot of really, really things, interesting things here. We're trying this some other time. But for now, we're just going to stick with the sneaky breaky. First things first. Well, I may as well just get our old guard. So we gain a little... A, a, any amount of XP a day, but we also gain a lot of political power, some extra political power. <laughs> Felix Frick, our military theorist, will be a good one. But yeah, I'm going to save the power to gain, let's see. Ludwig's Moxer, Silent Workhorse. Always go with these guys if you can. Ooh. Those require us to. Let's see, where? Ooh, that would be handy. Give us a research slot. Probably go with this afterwards to get rid of that some daily fashion support. Oh, so if we do go down this, we actually gain a
we would actually gain a on this Let's see. Of course, that's all way well. So, spend this on Prince, probably not. All right, see. Now we have a slimy Democrat Prince. The balance of power between the Battle Union and the Fortschlich Hitler Bruger Party. How's this work? First things first, get this fella. And I may as well just get a military theory now. I can really be useful, but. Get a civilian factory. Get this to get rid of the Rucker Curse debuff. Then I'll go get the civilian factory. Then the silent produce so I can get that extra research slot. Then. Probably this because assuming I do get bombs, I'm not I'm not sure what's gonna happen. We'll see. I'm just having a look through all this because it is fascinating just to see what the monitors have come up with. Because Liechtenstein is not in the base game. I think so. Alright, so that's three research slots. Spend it on. Ah, you know what? More. Ooh, what can I do? Okay, so a like this probably not going to use. Go with this so I can get a what do I call it? A factory. Which else there? Not sure what I'm going to do next. Radio, it's anti air, or looking Swiss. So they cost more. I actually have to look at the miles because I haven't looked at them. So Artillery manufacturer, just generally cheaper. Or with Orlikon, they're cheaper. This is only really useful for for anti-air. That's make any sense.
not like we're really gonna be able to build all that need to build all that many anyway so we might as well make them really really good i don't know i'm just making this up as i go i want to save the our for our spy for our spy agent spy master have a spy agency Or just get a generic elusive gentleman. Hmm. Probably go with the more unique one. Right, so I think I'm going to go to form the military budget so we can get a fat military factory. And then start building up our industry. Take a while for us to do. Say demons, no naval gunnery research speed. That's I'm not expecting that to be much use, so probably go with this guy's expecting it a bit. Probably oh, now we have a factory. Well, since we're on a toaster economy, we'll just. Put it on this. And we only have the one factory anyway. Go play at the balance of power stuff. I'm not going to bother. Seems to be taking a while for this factory. We don't have, but we just got one from I don't know how this game works sometimes or how this mod works. Oh, now this is interesting. Also, von Habsburg, current head of the Habsburg royal house and pretender to the Austro Hungarian throne, has appeared in our country as a guest of Franz I in his residence at. Bado's castle. But well, Francis stated that Otto von Habsburg is here only as a meeting between old acquaintances. Concerns have been raised that he may be using our our country as a means of being closer to the federal state of Austria in the event of the restoration of the monarchy there. And so what do we get? Also, von Habsburg as a political advisor who gains 15% stability because he's popular among the nation of Liechtenstein or 10 political power. And welcome to Liechtenstein. Do anything with that though? Probably not. Factory goods. All right, tools modernization, and then I think develop railways. Place to go all the way down here. We're going back and focusing on the foreign diplomacy thing. Excellent, excellent. Right, I know this is probably not going to be very useful to me right now, but. We finally got set up. Oh. Guilty it is. Probably low and steel. Using this stuff. Now. Guilty and production efficiency. So I could choose a 
anti-submarine expert who doesn't gain me any naval XP gain per day. Or what you can get Johannes von Liechtenstein who would actually gain me XP. I'm not gonna bother because why? So in order to keep this guy USSR mustn't complete the beaten but not defeated focus. I have no idea what the focus tree is. Couldn't find couldn't find that focus. Doesn't really matter, I guess. As well. I don't even have any moment, but So, after I've got this, I can get two extra factories, and then I think that'll allow me to get the Binning Canal. So that'll just add two extra infrastructure onto Liechtenstein. It's always worth that. Do I want to save this for later? This will... I want to use support equipment. I already have it researched. Huh. Well, I'm guessing recon Alpha Recon might be good for snipers, except I don't have them. Let's see. Might as well buff you. Thing is, it doesn't really. This isn't worth it for. For the for for anything that isn't anti air. <laughs> I may as well just queue up all this stuff because it is probably not gonna ever be built. But sure, why not? I want that. May as well. This feels kind of a waste, but it's not like I'm really going to be able to use it for much else. Alright, so I can actually gain an air doctrine. What do I do? Somehow, I think fighters are the only thing we can really use, so. Air superiority, such as we get from it. I still get this, so those penalty is such a big issue. Oh wow, local population increased by five thousand, which means we got another another thirty people we can recruit. Well, I can't get this yet because I don't have more than four factories. Well, for that to show up. So, let's give us. Hmm, increase our monthly population by another 15%. Sure, why not? Yeah, might as well go with construction too. Not that I'm lucky to reuse it. Well, you never know. Yeah, historically, AI is turned on, so things are going to pan out the way they usually would. Extra war support, extra consume. And everything else is cheaper. Why not? Yeah, makes it a little cheaper. Makes everything a little cheaper. But 
I don't usually bother playing around with the balance of power mechanics in this game. Maybe I should. Well, 200 man power a week. You're a fool not to. It does mean we lose a little bit of um, <clears throat> production output in the factories, but it's not really going to be that big of a difference. Be that much difference. But you can see it's already soaring, well, comparatively. And I haven't even bothered going up a conscription wall yet. Hmm. So open the borders means we gain extra manpower and population for stability. Oh, I think I might actually go with that. I know we lose stability a week for, what was it, 60 days? 60 divided by 7, that's... I need a calculator. I cannot do maths anymore. So, about 8.5%. We can get that back. Right, now we can get the bin and canal. Seem to take, just seem to take a while for that. Which means I'll get 2x of uh, pretty much full infrastructure in. It's going to be complete. November. So by then I will have full infrastructure. Right. What do I want to go with? Almost always go with superior fire, but considering how small we have, asymmetrical warfare. Let's give us militia. Turbo population. Sand means. Mobilization. Be honest, I'd say I might as well just go with this. Like, I have no idea what difference this is going to do, but this will go with this. And as soon as I get the chance to take relief of command, I will do so. Hmm. Limited engagement. I have no idea how effective this is going to be or if I'll even get into a war, but we'll see how it goes. No, I, I almost always go with cultural norms for this social order assessing that the mod Road 56 adds because look at all these bonuses. However, this increase doubles our monthly population, which is so we gain promote twenty two a month. We'd be gaining forty four. That's not a lot. Because stability, we can actually gain that back. We can actually gain that back by just going for improved worker conditions, and it's not like we're going to be all that. Oh yeah, field hospitals. Sure. Yeah, aluminium production actually. <laughs> Points. That'll give us a steel mill, even though we're already building one. Oh well. Research slot, but we need well, I may as well go to production quotas for air push, then military factories, 
Let me see if I can get this. Question is, are we going to be able to actually do much rather than just sit around and wait for things to happen? So I've been at this for half an hour, just boosting, ar boosting around. I'm going to leave it there for now. Do you think this would be worth, fo worth following up just to see how weird this goes? Leave a comment below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.